If you ask an animator, especially a traditional 2D animator, what could be the hardest thing to nail right? You'll probably unanimously get one answer. Perspective. Oh my god. 3D animators can move in the 3D space freely, so perspective isn't really an issue for them. Traditional 2D animators, on the other hand, have to resort to trickery and employ a lot of background and foreground manipulation techniques to achieve that same control over the perspective. For example, if you watch anime and hand-drawn 2D animated content, the background is oftentimes created and the camera is animated first before tracing the character over it accordingly. This is when it comes to backgrounds and environments, but the perspective problem is even more apparent when dealing with characters, such as trying to make a character turn or do a full 360. Let's just say that it isn't the quote-unquote funnest thing you can do, if you think that animation is amusing in the first place, that is. But what if I told you that it's possible to blend 2D and 3D in order to have the best of both worlds in a single application? The 3D motion features from Cartoon Animator coupled with their powerful live link with iClone, where you can edit your animation in real time, allow you to do just that. It helps you speed up your work tremendously, bridging the gap between 2D and 3D animation even closer. And today, we're going to talk about that. Cartoon Animator from Reillusion, the developers behind iClone and the sponsor of today's video, is a fully-fledged professional 2D animation software designed to help you create stunning animations as fast as possible. Jam-packed with all sorts of tools to speed up your workflow, Cartoon Animator is easy to use for both beginners and very useful for professionals looking to get the most out of their time. We've already talked about Cartoon Animator at length multiple times on this very channel. Just recently, we took a look at Cartoon Animator 5 and all the great new features it is shipped with, like freeform deformations, springs, and vector support, just to name a few. But today, we're going to talk about 3D motion for 2D animation and the iClone Live Link. Cartoon Animator already supports a lot of awesome features like 2D motion capture, automatic real-time lip sync, and even 3D to 2D character projection. However, the Motion Link is a game changer for many reasons. Motion Link is a plugin that links iClone and Cartoon Animator for a real-time 3D motion pipeline for 2D characters. You can real-time preview 2D animation with 3D motions from iClone, adjust the animation with customizable projection angles, and record the editing process to ensure the best animation quality. Of course, most of the 3D motion features only work with G3 characters, which are created using Cartoon Animator 4 or above, where you can rotate the head 360 degrees. In your content manager, you can find the G3 character under Actor, Template, Character, G3 360 Human. But for the linking process, it's always recommended to use the default dummy character first if you want to apply the animation later to any other cartoon animator G3 characters with different body proportions. This is because, and I quote, the dummies contain a standardized bone structure that allows the motion to be retargeted to other G3 characters, if that makes sense. So what does this link do exactly? Well, in simple terms, 3D Motion Link streams iClone motion to Cartoon Animator this way. You can easily transfer all of the iClone animations through Motion Live 2D to Cartoon Animator. This allows you to do a couple of things like controlling the Z-axis movement of your character, changing how your character is facing by using flip body, controlling the projection angle, and of course, you can easily preview and record projected 2D motion to Cartoon Animator. In addition to all the great things that come with real-time motion editing, like advanced motion layer, editing through iClone Human IK, including tiptoe, reach, target, and solid floor contact. To activate the live link, you first have to install the live link from both iClone and Character Animator in your Reillusion Hub. You can find the live link in iClone if you go to the Plugins menu. Under Cartoon Animator, you will see Motion Link. 
Once you click it, the link panel will appear. Click the gear icon, which will bring up the IP port setting. Make sure to note this information because they need to be the same in the Cartoon Animator for this to work. You can check that out if you fire up Cartoon Animator and head to the Live Motion plugin, where you can check if your settings are consistent with the iClone Motion Link plugin listed under both the body and the hand sections. Back in iClone, you can select Add Dummy Character on the top, and now you can click the Activate button. You'll notice a pop-up that says Client Not Found at the top of your viewport, indicating the linking is not successful yet. In Character Animator, add your dummy character and on the Motion Life Duty window, tick the red circle next to the body and hand section. Next, you'll want to select the iClone Motion Link in both the body and hand columns of your character in the character list. Now you're all set. All you need to do is grab one of your animations from the Smart Gallery, apply it to your character and watch the magic happen. If you want to learn more about 3D to 2D converters, you can follow the link in the video description. Another awesome news is that 3D Motions users purchased from the Actor Core can also be accessed through the Smart Content Manager embedded in Cartoon Animator, which is really helpful. And of course, people who already have Cartoon Animator can enjoy all these features for free. So, if you want to learn more about 3D Motion, Live Link, and Character Animator in general, you can visit Character Animator's 5 website to see all the new exciting features. And that's that for our video today. We really hope you found it helpful and you learned something new. Don't hesitate to comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any suggestions at all. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.